Yes. Yeah, what's up? 89X. Yeah. When can we hear you? Uh, Saturdays 1 to 7. Uh, you can hear me Sundays. In the afternoon? Yes. Okay. Could be in the uh, morning. Sunday uh, 5 to 10. And from 9 to 10, I actually do an all-Canadian show, which is kind of cool. So I play like nice. all-Canadian talent. So it's just Leonard Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, dude. That's it. Uh, yes. When 89X first started out, <laughs> yeah, um, it was at the same time period that this comic book started out. It was Sandman. The Sandman book was a wonderful book. And revisiting it now, great story. Mark, what did you think of Sandman? Sandman. It, it, it was good, but it, it was it was. I found it very confusing mm -hmm. at first. I will admit that it. But it uh. Can't say that on the. Can't radio. say that. Can't say the f word. It jumped. <laughs> Okay. The title of the story is Dollhouse. The story is completely jump around. The first story on the surface has nothing, seems to have nothing to do with anything else. And in the story, there's a character who moves into a building, who meets all these new people. Each of them has their own story. She has mm -hmm. her own story. They cut over to a serial killer attending a serial killer convention. Yeah. Wow. Well, who and, hasn't been to it? Yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, Neil Gaiman has got such a rich uh, palette of, of well, what am I saying here? He's read a lot of books. What, what do you mean? What, what, and, yeah. and he's drawing on all that to, re, to, to rate the story, and it's incredible because he's connecting this whole story with mythology, with psychology. What I was worried about when I reread these is that they wouldn't hold true anymore. Like, these stories wouldn't be as good, but that first story of the original tribe in Africa that, mm -hmm. that brought life to everything else, then they went into Kirby's first version yeah. of Sandman and they brought all these things in there and I almost felt bad that like as someone who's read it for the first time I don't know if you read the introduction mm -hmm. it, it holds true to this whole idea where he set up a, a comic book narrative where he could talk about desire and destiny mm -hmm. and all these sort of things that has now gone into fables and has gone mm -hmm. into Preacher and gone in all these great Vertigo books. I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> I opened it up, started reading it, got to page three <laughs> This has nothing to do with Spider-Man. No. This guy cannot no. turn into sand. No. This is At a, all. This is a different Sandman than the one in Spider-Man. But shouldn't they put on there Sandman, not that guy? <laughs> <laughs> like they for should. people that don't know, I'm just saying. I was confused as well. That's what I did. Did you expect it to be the Spider-Man? Yeah, I totally did. Did you seriously? Yeah. <laughs> so did I. Okay. No. What did you think of the story? Like, I mean, I know it was very complex. It was very confusing. That's the main thing. I was like, afterwards, I'm like. What did I just read? Like so, but I mean, it, it was good. It kind of it wanted me to, to you know, read the other ones. But I was mm. just like, what was? Did that? it put you to sleep? Because if it did, then it would be an appropriate <laughs> title as well, <laughs> right? This is this is a, a complete story. But in the middle of that story, for example, there's one issue where the entire story is just uh, the Sandman and a guy meeting in a bar. The guy wants to be granted immortality, and every hundred years they meet, and every yeah, hundred years, a great story. and every hundred years they just sort of go through history, and you also find out a little bit of what, we, what each of them has sort of been up to, and at the end of the story, you get this great catharsis that again ties into everything else in the end, and it's something that you can't read once. Definitely, I would recommend this, reading. This is yeah. one of the first. This is one of the, the the like just aside from Mouse and a few other comic books, one of the first comic books that hit the New York Times bestseller list. Would you recommend this book? Yeah, but I'd recommend reading it more than once. And don't lie. Yes? Yes. yes. No, okay. yeah. All jokes aside, uh, Neil Gaiman, awesome. Uh, totally recommend the book. Can we, while we're going on commercial break, can we play that song? Mr. Sandman! Bring me a drink. Bring me a drink. Can we do that? Or can you put that? Bring me a drink.